It's not that I'm so smart. It's just that I stay with problems longer. Albert Einstein. And my friends, staying with it. That is the key. 10 to 15 minutes each and every day following these charts. Learning what there is to learn. Learning by doing. You can do this. You just have to stick with it. Don't worry about how long it takes because once you master it, you will make up for all the time you ever spent. Let's jump into these charts. Stocks are up. Bonds and gold down. Bitcoin rocketing up 8.64%. Let's jump first into the S&P 500. We see things up a little bit for the day, 0.32%. We haven't hit the high that we hit just back on Tuesday. Uh, much less where we hit the high back on the 7th of February or even a higher high back on the 2nd of February. That's one reason the STC has not gone green. We are above the 200 EMA, so we'll continue to watch and see how that shapes up for us. We are green on the STC, of course, on the two-day chart. And again, you can see this sideways slide. If we look at where volume is, and this is the first day of the latest two-day candle. But we can see, you know, volume has stayed right there around the average as we've seen some of these spinning tops, which is, you know, again, telling us that with all this volume but not a lot of increase in price, you may very well have the insiders unloading a lot of their inventory um, and stocks may be getting ready to, because remember, this is an index fund that is tracking what's going on with the S&P 500. So again, and this is also a tradable ETF. So it tells you a whole lot of things about what's going on across the board. We may be seeing things stalling here, getting ready to roll over going down. So we don't necessarily want to jump in to the 195 minute chart at this point. So we'll keep an eye on things, see how they go. You can also see now on the weekly chart, even though we do have a green candle and we're moving up the trend line, we've not reached the high we had three weeks ago. Well, two and a half or so weeks ago. So, and again, volume uh, has a couple of days left, but we can see where it's been decreasing. So we will keep an eye on things, see which way these charts go for us. We look at the Qs, a little bit of a repeat. I mean, again, a little different. You do see a spinning top back on Tuesday morning, but as far as Wednesday, up 0.77% for the day, up in the morning, a little further up in the afternoon. Not a, not a lot of volume there. In fact, less in the afternoon going up higher. So again, what would you expect? You would expect if you had this much volume in the morning with a smaller candle, wouldn't you expect if things were working correctly, you would have greater volume with a higher price? So again, those are some questions. We'll keep those in the back of our mind. We look at where we are on the two day. We had two, uh, really uh, almost two dojis there. Lots of indecision, a lot of price fluctuating all around. And look at all the volume with no price increase. Isn't that interesting? We have seen some here on this first day of this two-day catalyst, not even half of what it was before. It is trying to push through that 200 EMA, so we'll see if it's going to sustain that with the closure of this candle on Thursday. And look at the weekly. Again, like the S&P, not reaching the high it reached two and a half weeks ago. And volume uh, is about half of what it was last week, but a smaller candle. So we'll keep an eye on things. Maybe it's getting ready to stall. Maybe it's just digesting some of those prior gains. We do see at the end of the day, though, the NASDAQ 100 going higher than it had over the last day and a half. So we'll pay attention, see if indeed we get a change. Let's move on to bonds. Bonds down for the day, 0.93%. And again, bonds rolling down have, you know, sort of popped up once we saw back on the 9th of February in the morning. Then after that pushed through and has stayed through the 200 EMA down in the morning, a little further down in the afternoon has been red for quite a while before pushing through that 200 EMA on the half day chart. Red on the two day chart going into the what the fifth candle and we look at where we are on the weekly. And again, we've been well below the 200 EMA on the weekly and the two-day. 
And of course, going into the second week of some down moves, making a little bit lower low, not a big candle, not a lot to say as far as volume goes. So we'll keep our eye, nothing for us to do at this point on 20-year bonds. What about gold? Gold down a solid 1% for the day. Remember when gold was rocking up, hit that most recent high back on February the 1st. And then, boy, it has rolled over since then, slid sideways and up a little bit for uh, a, what, two days, and then back over, heading down. Down in the morning, not quite as much in the afternoon below that weekly trend line and red on the STC. What about the weekly chart? It is above the 200 EMA, but again, going to the second week of some down movement, Volumes cut off a little bit, still green on the STC. So we will keep an eye on things and see how gold will continue to move along. Now, Bitcoin is where we saw the action for the day blowing up through in the morning, the 200 EMA going from red to green. And we see some volume there, not a whole lot. Boy, did we see a lot of volume when it reached that most recent low. Uh, and then sort of stabilized, and then really not a lot of volume coming on at all. We look at where we are on the two-day, not a lot of volume there as things really peak up, just jam up. Been green on the STC there for a while. Any of you pull the trigger on this trade, just do a practice trade as Bitcoin Again, shoots through. We had a positive 14 before things switched over in the afternoon. Got a positive 15 on the success multiplier formula when it popped over. Don't blame me if you were a little hesitant to pull the trigger as things just jammed up. But we'll see for those of you who did, blew through the, again, blew through that trend line heading up. So we'll wait, we'll watch, we'll see as things, again, are trying to recover going from that prior week with a small red doji and, of course, a consequently red down volume. Not a lot of volume. Green spinning top. We'll see. Not a lot to back all that up, but it is Bitcoin. Folks, that's where we are as we end the day on Wednesday. We so appreciate you being with us. We recorded for our Patreon members already, the Charting Cryptos and Commodities. Hope that you like that. This week will be released to everybody else on Friday. You have questions, problems, concerns. We always love to hear from you. CW at ChartingWealth.com. God bless my friends. All the best from the whole team at Charting Wealth World Headquarters.